who protects this woman's hand to be taken by this man. Family and friends, we're gathered here today to witness and celebrate the joining of two hearts in love. This man, Aaron Van Nostrand, this woman, Suzanne Spielvogel, in their devotion, respect, and love for each other, wish to unite in the holy, sacred bonds of matrimony and to dedicate themselves to each other's happiness and well being as soulmates, best friends, husband, and wife. So I'd like to thank all of you for being here to witness their commitment to each other. Please be seated. <laughs> I'm a smart aleck, what can I tell you? <laughs> Let us pray. Heavenly Father, our hearts are filled with happiness and joy as we gather for Aaron and Suzanne's wedding day. Please bless them as they come before you, pledging their hearts and lives together. Grant that they may be ever true and loving and temper their hearts with kindness and understanding. Help and remember their love for each other so that together they may meet the cares and problems of life bravely. And with the passage of time, may the home they create today truly be a place of love and harmony where your spirit is forever present. Bless them as they become a family and walk beside this couple throughout their lives together. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <coughs> An excerpt from Art of Marriage by Wilford Arlen Peterson. The little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remember to say, I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon, it should continue all through the years. It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It's standing together, facing the world. It's forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It's doing things for each other, not the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. <coughs> Before we begin the ceremony, Suzanne and Aaron would like to remember those family and friends who were unable to make it with us today due to distance or other reasons, especially in memory of Aaron's father and Suzanne's sister and grandmother. They all hold, hold all of you in their hearts as they commit themselves to each other, and you're always never far from them in their prayers. We'll now observe a moment of silence in honor of these special friends and remembrance of those who have left us. Aaron and Suzanne would also like to acknowledge their parents on this most special day in their lives. Your gifts of unconditional love and support have helped mold them into the people that you see before you now and have helped prepare them for the life that they now have before them. We'd like to thank you for setting the bar to such a high level of what love has come to mean to them. Without you, this day would not be possible. Okay. May I address your witnesses? Yes. I'd like to first address our witnesses here today. You're not here merely out of tradition. You're here for a very serious purpose. You're here before God to add your blessings and support to this marriage. Aaron and Suzanne have chosen to spend the rest of their lives in the holy commitment of marriage. So from this day forth, I charge that you all do everything in your power to see that this union remain solid, strong, happy, and prosperous. Yes. Please signify your commitment by saying, I will. I will. They didn't sound very committed. Let's try this one more time. Please signify your commitment by saying, I will. I will. Y'all have me a little worried for a second there. <laughs> All right. I should have said, hurrah, right? There you go. <laughs> Aaron and Suzanne, this is one of the most important days of your lives. This is the day when you dedicate your hearts and lives to one another. The day when your lives take on a whole new meaning. The day when you begin living life for each other caring more about the health and welfare of your spouse as about your own. The future you have together is not about bright stars or shining ribbons or the money in your pockets. It's about the love in your hearts and the loyalty and commitment in your souls. It's about the sharing of two, four lives that today join together as one. Today you're making a vow to experience the future and all of the joys and sorrows that are a natural part of it. Marriage is a lifelong commitment that each of you must give your hearts to on a daily basis. Each of you must add your own unique ingredients each day so that your love and marriage will flourish and grow stronger with each passing season. 
Love makes burdens lighter because you divide them. It makes joys more intense because you share them. Together as a team, you can accomplish the most difficult of goals and capture all of your dreams. The long road you've traveled to get to where you are today, the road paved with memories to look back on. Mostly good, but some challenging, but both will remind you of the things that were done right and those that may have been done differently. This has helped you grow in your relationship and see the future that you have together. That road is also paved with love. Love that's nurtured by the respect that you have and show for each other. Love that allows you to treat each other as a valuable and cherished partner for all the days of your lives. The commitment you both make today is the commitment that you'll carry in your hearts until you draw your last breath. If this is your intention, to share with each other your joys and sorrows and all that the earth will bring, begin to bind yourselves to each other today as husband and wife. <clears throat> as an expression that your hearts are joined together in love, would you please face each other and hold hands where you may feel the gift you are to one another? Aaron and Suzanne, the hands that you hold on your wedding day are the hands of your best friend. Strong, yet tender, sincere, and vibrant with love. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future, as together you laugh and cry, and together you share your innermost secrets and dreams. These are the hands that will wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of laughter and joy. <laughs> These are the hands that will comfort you in illness and hold you when you're grieving. These are the hands that will hold you in joy, excitement, and hope. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times and through joyous times. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years as you promise your love and commit your hearts to one another for all the days of your lives. An excerpt from Love by Roy Croft. I love you, not for what you are, but what I am when I'm with you. I love you, not for what you've made of yourself, but what you're making of me. I love you, for the part of me that you bring out. I love you for putting your hand into my heart and passing over all of the frivolous and weak things you cannot help seeing there and for drawing out into the light all of the beautiful and radiant things no one else has looked quite far enough to find. I love you because you've done more than anything else could have done to make me good and more than anyone else could have done to make me happy. One of the pleasures I'm blessed with is having the calling of being a small part of new beginnings. To watch as two hearts join together and begin your rise of flight into the start of your new lives, lovingly accepting the future and the wondrous adventures that it holds for you. It begins with a smile and holding hands, continues with a vow from the heart and soul, and is sealed with the gentleness of a kiss. The vows you're about to make are not to be taken lightly. They are a lifelong commitment and they begin with your next heartbeats. Are you ready, Aaron? I am ready. Well, the rubber meets the road, you know. Yeah, I'm all about it. <laughs> Do you, Aaron Von Ostren, and your, of your own free will, take this woman, Suzanne Spielvogel, to be your wedded wife? I do. Don't tell me, tell her. I definitely do. <laughs> Don't do the same mistake. Forsaking all others, do you promise to love and respect her, to comfort and protect her, and to stand by her side for all the days of your life? Do you promise to commit your heart, mind, strength, and love only to her, and accept her without reservation this day and every day forward? I do. And do you, Suzanne Spielvogel, of your own free will, take this man, Aaron Von Ostrin, to be your wedded husband? I do. Forsaking all others, do you promise to love and respect him, to comfort and protect him, and to stand by his side for all the days of your life? Do you promise to commit your heart, mind, strength, and love only to him, and accept him without reservation this day and all days forward? I do. Aaron, would you please repeat after me these vows to Suzanne? I, Aaron, take you, Suzanne. I, Aaron, take you, Suzanne. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I promise to honor and respect you. I promise to honor and respect you. Have my arms to be your shelter. Have, your, have my arms to be your shelter. And my heart as your home. And my heart as your home. As I give you my hand and heart in marriage. As I give my hand and heart in marriage. I give and dedicate my life to you. I give and dedicate my life to you. My heart belongs to you today, tomorrow, and forever. 
My heart belongs to you today, tomorrow, and forever. Perfect. Suzanne, would you please repeat after me these vows to Aaron? I, Suzanne, take you, Aaron. I, Suzanne, take you, Aaron. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I promise to honor and respect you. I promise to honor and respect you. Have my arms to be your shelter. Have my arms to be your shelter. And my heart as your home. And my heart as your home. As I give you my hand and heart in marriage. <clears throat> as I give my hand and heart in marriage. I give and dedicate my life to you. I give and dedicate my life to you. My heart belongs to you today, tomorrow, and forever. My heart belongs to you today, <clears throat> tomorrow, and forever. The drawing of two souls. Two souls drawn together, never knowing how or why. Two hearts a flutter as wings on high. No matter the problems of the day or egos that swell, our love will come shining through like the tinkling of a bell. All actions are stopped in an instant. All voices are silenced. Once again drawn together, our souls are quenched. For in each other we find ourselves together, even when we are apart. Let our passions know no bounds, and all love be spoken from the heart. May I have the rings, please? <clears throat> Thank you. These rings are symbols of the commitment that will bind your hearts and souls together. The ring by its shape is a symbol of eternity without beginning or end. Let it be a true symbol of the never-ending love that exists between you. The metal is a symbol of purity. Let it forever characterize your hearts, your minds, and your souls. For centuries, lovers have given it to each other as tokens of hope, faith, trust, and love. These rings also symbolize that in your hearts, true love waits and will last a lifetime. Love is engraved on your heart. The true simplicity of love gives it wings to guide your future with. Today you're making a vow that from this day forward, you'll be united before the world, and a vow and promise that spans all the rest of the days of your lives. As you give these gifts of love to one another, let them be a continual reminder to you of the love and commitment that you're making today. Aaron, as you place this ring on Suzanne's left ring finger, you're asking her to accept you as her husband for all the days of her life. If this is your intention, please repeat after me as you place it on her finger. Suzanne, with all the love in my heart. Suzanne, with all the love in my heart. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. For all the days of your life. For all the days of your life. As a sign of my love, devotion, and fidelity. As my, my sign of love, fidelity. Or devotion. Love, <laughs> devotion, and fidelity. <laughs> love, devotion, and fidelity. Guys always get that one wrong for some reason. <laughs> As this ring has no end, as this ring has no end, neither shall my love or respect for you. Neither shall my love or respect for you. You're the one I laugh with and love. You're the one I laugh with and love. As God is my witness, as God is my witness, I will love and cherish you all the days of my life. I will cherish you with all of the days of my life. As God is my witness, I will cherish you with all the rest of my life. <laughs> with this you. ring, I thee wed. <laughs> with this ring, I thee wed. I love a kitty groom. <laughs> you were close enough. Okay. <laughs> Suzanne, as you place this ring on Aaron's left ring finger, you're asking him to accept you as his wife for all the days of his life. If this is your intention, please repeat after me as you place it on his finger. Aaron, with all the love in my heart. Aaron, with all the love in my heart. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. For all the days of your life. For the, all the days of your life. As a sign of my love, devotion, and fidelity. As a sign of my love, devotion, and fidelity. <laughs> Got it. As this ring has no end. <laughs> as this ring has no end. Neither shall my love or respect for you. Neither shall my love or respect for you. You're the one I laugh with and love. You're the one I laugh with and love. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. 
I will love and cherish you all the days of my life. I will love and cherish you for all the days of my life. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. <laughs> Ruth chapter 1, verses 16 and 17. But Ruth replied, Do not urge me to leave you or turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people. Your God, my God. Where you die, I will die. And there, I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if anything but death ever separates you and me. You've just sealed your relationship by the giving and receiving of rings. This covenant is a vow between two people who agree that they will forever commit their hearts and lives to one another. Let us take this time to celebrate this as the moment when your hearts have joined your souls to unite as one greater whole. At this time, I'd like to invite you to take a few moments uh, alone with your children. Okay. Ready? All right. Give them. Love you, sweetie. Love you. Okay, go say hi to Go give Susan. Come here. I love you. All right, you're going to stand right over here. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> stand right there. She's gonna stand right. <laughs> it's okay. She'll come over here. Brittany, it's okay. Come on. <laughs> Marriage is two hearts and souls living, loving, and working together as one, each only as happy as the other. It's a never ending trek of looking into each other's hearts and finding the ever present love that awaits you. It's about looking to the future while staying connected to yesterday and today. <clears throat> Hold each other often and without abandon. For when you love with your hearts unconditionally, your commitment to each other will withstand the test of time. The love in your hearts will see through the many surprises that the future holds. Some good, some great, and some that bring sorrow and heartache. The one thing that should never change is your commitment today to see each other through it all. When the walls seem to fall down around you and the pennies in your pocket are few, it's the love, faith, and loyalty in your hearts that will give you the strength and courage to see you through. Love allows you to transcend normal boundaries and hold each other's hearts, even from long distances. Always be there for each other, never taking each other's hearts for granted. Remember, as of today, your worlds have become one. If need be, it will be the two of you against the world. Whether you're standing back to back, face to face, or side by side, you should always be standing together. <clears throat> Let us pray. Dear Lord, hand in hand, Aaron and Suzanne come before you. Hand in hand, they're stepping out in faith. They invite you into their hearts and marriage and ask that you take them into your hands and bless their union. Help them keep firm in the commitments they've just made and guide them as they become a family. As they each change through the years, may they be as flexible as they are faithful. And Lord, help us all to be your hands and do your will if need be. Strengthen all of our commitments to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Mark better mouth. He will. <laughs> Detail. Oh. Ready. Face. Open rings. March. Aaron, Suzanne, I now charge you to love, honor, and cherish one another for all the days of your lives. I charge you to faithfully fulfill the vows you've committed to today, that you regard them as holy, sacred, and precious from this day forth. Today you vowed to share your lives in marriage. We all recognize and respect the commitment that you've made. It's not a pastor standing before you to make your marriage real. Only the two of you can do that. With the love, honesty, and sincerity of what you vowed before God, and each other's hearts. Aaron, would you please place your hand on Suzanne's heart? Aaron, would you please place your hand on Aaron's heart? <laughs> oh, Suzanne. That's a whole other ceremony, isn't it? <laughs> mm. As you look into each other's eyes and you hold each other's hearts in your hands, 
by the authority vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Mm -hmm. Aaron, you may kiss your bride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want your bouquet? <laughs> Turn the face out. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great honor and privilege that I introduce to you for the first time, Aaron and Suzanne Van Ostrand, Van Ostrand, sorry, Mr. and Mrs. You may take your first steps forward as husband and wife. Arch sword. Okay. <laughs> Get it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 